Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ IS English channel. My name is Shubham Sagar. Today we have to talk about why is Assam prone to floods. See, understand one thing. There are two things. There, there can be more than that, but two major things I keep on hearing, and you people must also have, like, you know, kept on hearing about these two things every year, year after year. First thing first, Assam floods in monsoon. Second thing, pollution in Delhi in winter these two things they keep on happening every year every, like and why F delhi pollution temperature inversion we can do it in some other class but first of all we have to talk about why is assam so prone to floods is it all nature or you know civic apathy if that is a word is responsible for it for understanding why is assam prone to floods we also have to understand brahmaputra river you know fluvial landforms landforms created by river what is the upper stage middle stage lower stage where does assam lies when it comes to different stages of brahmaputra so there are so many things which we have to understand and there are some like there will be some uh, terms like in the upper stage what does a river form v shed valley gorges canyons brahmaputra enters into india from arunachal pradesh goes into bangladesh known as jamuna so these are factual information but First of all, we have to understand or need to have a basic conceptual clarity related to fluvial landforms. Then only we can understand why Assam faces flood year after year. And then at the end, we'll solve six MCQ so that we can remember whatever we have read. First of all, let's have some discussion related to what is happening in our dear Assam. I stayed in Guwahati, Bhangagad was a region. So I have seen this. Guwahati is relatively less impacted by Assam floods. But yes, this time even Guwahati is impacted. So June, certain day of June, we'll talk about which newspaper is talking about it. Almost every newspaper is talking about it and they should. So eight individuals have lost their life around 78,000 you know, have been affected. These are official figures. Non-official figures can be more. Flood situation, 10 major rivers, including, again, you can have a look at all the factual information. First of all, we have to understand, Assam is facing a lot. Every year, Assam faces a lot because of these floods. And they keep on rebuilding and then again, the same stuff happen the next year. So this is actually a scenario which has to be taken care of some way or the other. But why this happens with Assam? Why is Assam, you know, like witnessing so many floods year after year? Let's try to understand it via fluvial landform. First of all, what are fluvial landforms? Landforms created by rivers. Okay. So when a, a river is getting, you know, a river or different landforms are getting created by river, let's try to understand how a river flows. So when a river flows, pardon me for my, you know, uh, diagram here. So it comes from, see, understand one thing, for river to flow, there has to be something which is known as slope. So this is the, and let's say this is the origin point of the river. So this is the origin point. This particular stage is the upper stage of the river. We have to understand when it comes to Brahmaputra, where does Assam lie in the different stages of a river, different stage of Brahmaputra. So this is the upper stage origin point here. The slope is very steep. River is coming at a very fast pace. It is eroding everything which is coming on its way, forming features like V-shaped valley, gorges, canyon. So here in the upper stage, the major work done by river is erosion. Then comes the middle stage. Assam lies in the middle stage, mainly middle stage and little bit of upper stage of Brahmaputra. And since the speed of Brahmaputra is very high here in this, these particular phases, that's why you are witnessing flood. Plus, so many earthquake happens and this is an earthquake prone region because of different earthquake which has happened in Assam. Brahmaputra has changed its course. So it's like idhar chala mein udhar chala. Sometimes I'm going here, sometimes I'm going there. It has become very unpredictable. That's why people are not that prepared for, you know, Brahmaputra's floods. Also, then there are something called as haphazard urbanization. We'll talk about it. Multiple factors are playing a role. But first, first of all, let's focus on fluvial landforms. So upper stage, speed of river is very high. Erosion is the main work done by it. Middle stage here, transportation. What does that mean? See, understand one thing. When in the upper stage, the speed, the slope is very steep. River is, you know, coming at a very fast pace. They are eroding stuff. They are carrying a lot of sediments with it. And this sediments will be transported in the middle stage. Then comes the lower stage. And by this time, what has happened, whatever sediments river has brought, they are getting accumulated here. And that thing will stop the flow of river. So the speed of river has reduced considerably. And here, what will happen? They will reach the sea and they will form something known as delta, flood plains, etc. Flood plains, 
also gets formed in some phases of middle stage. Delta is a feature formed in the lower stage. So please understand the most important prerequisite for river formation is the slope. If the slope is there, river will flow. And since Assam majorly lies in the middle and some portion of upper stage of Brahmaputra. So the speed of Brahmaputra is very high here. Majorly erosion, transportation and in the lower stage deposition happens. I'm not saying that erosion, transportation and deposition like in first stage only erosion will happen. In second stage only transportation, in third stage only deposition. No, what we are saying is the major work of river is erosion in the upper stage, transportation in the middle stage and deposition in the lower stage. Assam lies here, middle and some portion of upper stage of Brahmaputra and that's why it faces the wrath of Brahmaputra so much, especially in the middle stage. And do remember the different features, different you know, landforms created by a river. Upper stage, V-shaped valley, gorges, canyons. Middle stage, you can say Oxbow Lake and others. Meandering happens here. And meandering happens even in the lower stage. But the major things which we have to remember, upper stage, V-shaped valley, gorges, canyons. And then in the lower stage, delta. Remember it, it's important. And these features are actually important. Okay, let's move on. Geographical location. Now we are trying to understand why we know the major reason. Assam is lying in the middle stage of Brahmaputra primarily. But what else apart from that? They are talking about all these things. There are so many rivers and they... Again, when you read about Himalayan rivers, you read about peninsular rivers, you talk about certain stuff that Himalayan rivers, they are perennial rivers and uh, uh, peninsular rivers ma mainly seasonal rivers. Why? Because peninsular rivers, they get their uh, water from rainfall. Himalayan rivers, there are two sources. One is snow and the second is or the glaciers and the second is rainfall. So Brahmaputra, they this particular region also encounters or even now like the monsoon is going on, they have got a lot of, lot of rainfall rather plus the glacier factor. So there the amount of water they are carrying is extreme. Plus they change their course so much because of different earthquake which has happened in Assam earlier. Low lying terrain, as we have discussed, now you know the basic feature of river formation. It needs slope. If river has to flow, it needs slope. And since Assam lies in this particular area, which is low lying area, obviously, it has to be low lying, then only river will flow. So it is facing the wrath. The speed of Brahmaputra is very high. And that is what they are saying. Much of Assam is flat and low lying, making it susceptible or susceptible. Oh my God, this is, this is a tongue twister susceptible oh my god to water accumulation or overflow hope you're understanding it words tongue twisters that's fine but we have to understand the basic gist here assam receives intense rainfall we have talked about it and again the water from neighboring states arunachal meghalaya even bhutan drains into assam we were also talking about i have made a video on siang river and there we have discussed like even dam formation etc that also does not help the cause of assam much when you create dam in the upstream region then the relatively downstream areas of Assam, they are impacted because dam do change the course of river, making it unpredictable. And unpredictability of river does not help in understanding how it will, you know, how it will flow, how it will be impacted by monsoon, rainfall, etc, etc. Deforestation and encroachment. Generally, what happens when you have plants, when you have trees, they in a way bind the soil, they in a way bind the water which is coming from different region. But when you do deforestation, then water will go and there is no resistance or there is nothing which is stopping river from or water from flowing. And again, that in a way will facilitate the so-called occurrence of flood. That is what they are saying here. Hope you are understanding the basic premise, the middle stage of Brahmaputra, monsoon rainfall, unpredictable nature of Brahmaputra because of, because this region is seismically active earthquake has happened, which has altered the course of Brahmaputra, thereby making it unpredictable, poor drainage infrastructure. Now here in GS mains paper one, you read about something called as urbanization. Haphazard urbanization is also one cause which you can always include. Haphazard urbanization and earthquake. That's why this meme here, Udhar Chala, Udhar Chala means sometimes Ramutra is going here, there, making it unpredictable. And then the climate change, erratic rainfall patterns, inadequate flood management. This is also one aspect of 
not exactly, but yeah, you can say that this whole thing, inadequate flood management, haphazard urbanization, these factors are also contributing to Assam witnessing so many floods. So there are multiple factors. Some of them are natural factors. Some of them are man-made factors. So the question is, who is responsible? Weather is responsible. Nature is responsible. Government is responsible. Both are responsible. Neither of them are responsible. You know, you read about uh, options in UPSC. One only, only one, only two, both, neither. So what is your opinion? Whether government, nature, government, both or neither. Whatever you feel, you can post it in the comment section, especially people from Assam. Pollution in Delhi, we have talked about it. Two things are common every year. Such a sad reality it is. Pollution in Delhi in winter and Assam floods in monsoon. And that's why Ajay Devgan sir is saying here that some things never change. They keep on happening year after year. And maybe we people have to put a little bit more pressure on our governments when it comes to these two matters, Delhi pollution and Assam floods. Maybe then things will change. Again, what is your view on that? If I have repeated certain stuff multiple number of times, that means those particular stuffs are important for you. There will be six MCQs which will be coming in front of you and you have to solve them. So June 1, 2025, Deccan Herald, this was the news. 8 killed 78,000. This is not 10, 100, 200, 300. 78,000 affected and you can see how much Assam is you know, suffering right now. And we people are with Assam and we want, you know, we want to do something for Assam. And that's why we are having this discussion so that government can realize that this is a grave issue. This cannot go year after year. Howsoever they can do, they should do and to stop it from, you know, to stop this recurring harrowing experience, which is not helping the people of Assam. So six MCQs, which of the following is a major depositional fluvial landform? I've told you erosion transportation deposition in which stage of reverse, what happens if you can solve it? And if you know the answer, post it in the comment section. MCQ2, the landform created by river erosion in the upper course is Delta floodplain, floodplain V-shaped valley, Levy. If you know the meaning of Levy, you can post it. But I have again told you, if you go back and rewind the lecture, I have told you the answer of this. What is the name of Brahmaputra River in Tibbat? I have made a video on why Siang River in news. There also we have talked about Brahmaputra River, Siang River. You can, you know, watch that video as well. MCQ4, in which Indian state does the Brahmaputra enter India? Sikkim, Arunachal, Assam, Meghale. See, many people, they have this misconception when we come, when we talk about northeastern state, that Assam is the largest northeastern state. The answer is Arunachal Pradesh is the largest northeastern state. Do keep that in mind. Which of the following river is not a tributary of Brahmaputra? Subansiri, Manas, Tista, Chambal. You may feel like, sir, you have not talked about tributaries, distributaries, just have a look at it. You can eliminate option. Just try to think where these rivers are. MCQ 6. What is the name of the river formed when Brahmaputra enters Bangladesh? Meghna, Jamuna, Ganga or Padma? So what do you think is the answer? If you know the answer of all these six MCQs, you can post it in the comment section. I will share this PDF along with the answer of these six MCQs in my Telegram channel. Oh my God, I'm stammering today. In my Telegram channel, fun study with you because study should be fun. So, yes, sir. If you are a serious UPSC 2026 aspirant, you can join our morning batch. Admissions are closing on 3rd June 2025. You can use my code SHS Live to get maximum discount. This is P2I prelims 2 means and prelims to interview program and there will be a monthly quiz if you top that quiz you will get 11,000 reward if you crack UPSC pre 2026 you will get full refund because you will be making us as well as yourself proud prelims and means residential program are also included here so you can join it if you are a serious UPSC 2026 aspirant if you have any queries any doubts you can go to the pinned comment section you can go to the description portion of this video you will get you know you will get the number link everything cool so that's it from me, sir and ma'am. Whatever are your views on this particular topic, feel free to share it in the comment section. A very sensitive topic and something has to be done about this particular topic. Take care, be blessed. I will see you soon.